Good morning. How did you sleep last night? Mm hmm. Me too. According to our calendar, it's been two months since we first got here. Nights have definitely not gotten easier. How about you, little David? How'd you sleep? Were you warm between her and me? I'm glad you were. Did you hear that? He called us mom and dad. Yeah, me too. Completely caught me off guard. Sure, little guy. Go with the others. Remember, if you see that someone needs help, and you can help them. If not, tell another adult that's near you. Love you, little David. Be careful. I did. I did tell him that I love him. I feel like in these two months, I got to know everyone a lot better than I could in any other situation in the time span of a year. Exactly. Yes. The situation definitely drove us together. I still can't believe it's been two months. But you know what? I feel like you being here with me helped me go through this a lot better. <laughs> yeah. The calls at night helped a lot too. Yeah, we should go check if they need help with breakfast. We need to make sure that David eats. I see him as my son too. He's a great kid. You helped a lot when it came to teaching him about manners. Thank you for that. I don't think I would have had the patience to remind him every time he didn't say thank you or excuse me. <laughs> Her patience was running out. Oh, wow. I didn't know he had done that. Anyways. It looks like they already have a fire. Let's go fishing. You've been getting a lot better at it. Oh, yeah. Let's go check the trap we set up yesterday. Hopefully we got something. Let me go grab the spear first. Could you please go tell the kid that we're going to be fishing? Thank you. I need to get the ring. It should be here somewhere. I need to give it to her tonight. I really like her. She's an amazing person. When we first... Yes, I'm coming! Let's get in the water slowly to not scare it, if we do have something in the trap. Do I think we trapped something? I hope so. If not, we'll have to go to our other spot since we fished here yesterday. No. I never thought those words were going to come out of my mouth. I never even thought of fishing before. How about you? Did you ever think that a kid that didn't come out of you would call you mom? <laughs> yeah. No one imagined that our plane would crash and we'd end up surviving and creating our own little village on an island. Here it is. You slowly pull up the trap from the string and I'll stab anything that's in there. Are you ready? One. Two. And three. <laughs> we got it! Sorry. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that without your permission. Yeah. 
If I did have your permission, I would have kissed you. Let's take this back and give it to them so they can cook it. I need to tell you something. May I grab both of your hands? Thank you. What I meant over there when I said that I didn't need to kiss you without your permission was that I like you. A lot. When I first saw you back at the airport, I felt a spark. I just knew that I wanted to get to know you. And when I saw you at the same gate, I was supposed to go. I knew it was meant to be. Yeah, like Romeo and Juliet. Star-crossed lovers, even though it sounds silly, it's true. So, with this said, would you be my girlfriend? You would? <laughs> Come here. I made this for you. Since the airport, I knew that I wanted to ask you to be my girlfriend, so when we landed, or should I say, crashed here, a few days later, I started practicing how to make rings out of dry palm tree leaves. Yes, that's what I was doing every time I took a long time whenever I said I had to go to the bathroom. I had to get away from everyone. I didn't know if they were going to be able to keep it a secret. May I place it on your finger? This ring symbolizes the promise I'm making you today. I'm treating you like... a queen. Just how you deserve to be treated. But also... it symbolizes our growing attraction between the both of us. <laughs> No, I'm not a poet. I have a lot of time to think here on the island. And also, no, I don't know your ring size. But you are a deep sleeper, so I had the chance to measure your finger while you and the kid were sleeping. Oh, hey, David. What's up? You saw a plane? Baby, let's go. You'll probably be able to see us. Everyone hurry! Grab a dry stick and burn it with fire, and move it around the air! Hey! Help! Over here! Hey! They're coming. They saw us. We're getting out of here! Baby, we're getting out of here! <sighs> we did it, baby. We survived.